Hey, what's up? It's Rich with a quick Linux tutorial. Uh, obviously, Diablo 2 Resurrected is the new hot ticket, and you can play it on Linux. It plays quite well. Um, so I'm going to do a quick guide here to getting it all set up. And uh, basically, the easiest way to do it, there might be other ways, but I've used Lutris because it's super simple. So um, obviously, if you use Linux, you're probably familiar with Lutris. Uh, if not, Head on over to their website, get it downloaded, get it installed. Uh, and then to install the uh, Diablo 2 uh, game, you'll first need to install the Battle.net uh, launcher. So what you need to do is, when you're in Lutris, just click on the Lutris's source, search games, and then search for Battle.net. And then it'll come up. Obviously, I've already got it installed, but basically you just click on that. Just click, this will say install. Follow the instructions on the screen, really straightforward. The community installers are fantastic. Somebody's done all the hard work for you. All you need to do is just, just follow all of the instructions. Uh, there are some dependencies and stuff that you might need to make sure you've already got installed. But again, it all the links to any instructions you need are, are in the installer. So just, just read it all, make sure you've followed all the steps and you'll get it. Uh, it'll eventually just install. And then obviously once it's, once it's launched, It'll launch the through wine. Obviously, you get this little wine system tray that doesn't go away, but it is what it is. And then once you've launched it and you've logged in, you've got the regular old Battle.net client here. Just uh, move it over across a bit. And obviously down here, this will say install not um, play. One extra step you can do um, before starting to play this. So um, you know, I'll close all that out for now. Uh, you. Obviously, to configure, you make any configuration changes to Wine or to use the the Wine GE or anything, you'll have to do it in the uh, in the Battle.net configuration because obviously it's you know it's it's doing all the downloading and stuff. But basically, all I've done is in the runner options. Uh, show I've, I'm using. I haven't tried any of the the, the regular Lutris wines. Um, but I did see a tip off on Twitter that it was working okay with glorious egg rolls. So I've just gone with the, uh, the latest Lutris GE version, uh, the one that isn't specifically highlighted for League of Legends. Obviously you've got these, um, you've got these now in, you go into your runner, or you do go into your wine runners. Um, you've got these now, oh no, not that one. So if you go into here and you, uh, and you go down to wine, click on this little settings thing. You can manage the wine versions. Obviously, here we've got we've started to get the the GE versions being built in as well. You obviously you can install them manually from GitHub and use them this way. But I mean, if they're already installed, they're already installed. Saves you a job. Um, so if you select all that, just close it all out, boot it back up. So once you're happy with your wine versions and any configurations and stuff, uh, let me just see if I've done anything else. I don't think I did. Uh, system options. So you've got all these system options are down here. These are these are all part of the uh, install. If you've got Mango HUD installed, enable it in the Battle.net uh, client for Vulkan. It'll it'll appear. Uh, game mode if you want that on. Any other you know, any of those other stuff. I generally keep it fairly straightforward. But then when you just go and play it, it is basically the same as just playing it on a Windows PC. Um. We'll just give it a second to boot up. I did try and record this last night when it launched, but obviously there are some server issues. But um, I'm running this on a Ryzen 5 3600X with an RTX 3060. Um, obviously, it's not the most demanding game in the world to run it at maxed out settings at you know good frame rates. I've dropped it down to very high just because there was... Uh, I was having a little bit of stuttering, but otherwise it's been pretty good actually on uh, on this. So we'll swap out for the gaming mouse. We'll load, we'll just uh, just load it up. I've done absolutely nothing in this. It's the first time I've ever played the game, so I'm literally right at the beginning. But you get an idea of the performance. You know, we're around, we're kind of hovering around 95 to 100 frames a second. It's uh, you know it's been pretty good, and then like you know I've I've, I've had a bit of a wander around. Not here. The order welcomes you. Your task is not Emails and all this sort of stuff. And but again, you know, been out killing a few uh, few uh, mobs and things, and 
frame rates haven't really dipped. Um, it may change when things get a bit busier later on, but so far it seems to run really, really, you know, really, really well on uh, on, Nvidia, on my Nvidia uh, machine at least. So there we go. That's all. It's, that's all there is to it. Lutris does all the hard work for you. Get it all installed, and uh, there's not really much configuration work necessary. See ya.